Welcome back to Uncharted 2. Um, Monk Thieves, I forgot to almost say that. Um, <clears throat> so yesterday I completely finished off Drake's Fortune, and so I thought I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue this series on Uncharted 2. I've already uploaded, I've already um, actually recorded this for, for 47 minutes long this morning, but uh, it didn't go well, it just sounded bad, so I thought I'd redo it. With the collection, it was Pac Man, so let's get into the video. Let's just download and let's see a Marco Polo quote on our deathbed. Here we go. Sorry. Well, that was one that's pretty hectic. So, if y'all are kind of confused why this is really taking place, if I be, like, what well, this is taking place right now, um, this is actually in the future theoretically. Uh, this is not really with a quote-unquote where the story begins. Um, but it it'll explain it later on. Uh, I think this actually takes place around chapter 14, 15, if I remember right. Um. So that, that's just some clearance for y'all who actually don't know and never play these these games. I know that this game's been out for 15 years. Um, but yeah, actually the last time I recorded this, I was actually eating a pot pie, and it's pretty funny. Actually, you can call it a blooper. I, I, I talked about how my banquet should be. I should be sponsored by banquet. It's actually pretty funny. We do it. Sorry, I'm chewing my my uh. Banquet pot pie, not sponsored. I wish. Okay. Well then, that's, that's kind of funny. How again? I don't know if I said this. Uh, oh yeah, no, I said another playthrough or uh, last time, my last intro that this game is one of the games that really starts showing you like the Last of Us Yellow, that really directs you to where you're supposed to be going, that guides you in the places, instead of like telling you per se. So, yeah, let's see if I can make this jump first try. I think it, that, that, that jump could be really annoying depending on like what it's doing. Like, over playthroughs, usually it's always different. I either make it or I don't. It's just very tedious and very annoying. Man. Alright, come on, Drake. I don't know how you still moving, but you know when you first realized it was completely sore. I don't know if this is a journal that's getting to him, but I don't know. If this is what generally happens. You know it's adrenaline because I'll be doing the same thing. This is gonna start getting hectic for good old boy Drake. Yippee ki yay, mother! Ah. Out of boy, you're right. Night, night time. All right, gotta shut up again. It's no cinematic. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. 
I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. I am listening. Yeah. You're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone. It's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shall the fate of the, the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the sight of the lost fleet. So, we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Everything. Oh boy, alright boy Drake, time to get up. <sighs> There's actually a church up by that tree. I'm like walking toward now. But because we grabbed all the bonus treasures, you don't have to see me grabbing any of those. As well as last time I will go through all the treasures and all the statistics at the last part. I do want there to be about six parts every video. Or not every video, I'm not I'm an idiot. For every uh walkthrough or playthrough. So, just for y'all to see all the treasures it's 101 well it's 100 treasures but there's a strange relic like there is in all the games pretty much as well as part two of the last of us um so i thought i'd add that as well so there's 101 theoretically treasures out of 100 and a crap ton of my statistics okay i'm yawning again it's like only five o'clock at night, but it's I've slept a lot of the day, a lot today. So bit of a friend over so, and I think friends tires me out. Alright.
Wow. There's no way I missed that. Karma's a bitch. It is. Very much so. I cannot hit a shot in this game. But again, I FM left and our map goes right. I love that. I love that about this game. It's uh it's actually something I really enjoyed in The Last of Us. And I hated about Drake's fortune. Oh wait a minute, I'm an idiot. I don't see that every time I don't I don't ever I don't think about it sometimes. I never jump on it first the first thing. Actually a treasure around here. Sorry, I've been talking a lot of treasures. I'm a lot of, I talk a lot about treasures as well. When I, when I get to the last of us. You'll you'll see why. Actually, uh I know I did in the description of my last past videos, I will be doing a Batman trilogy. Well, through, but the Last of Us will also be a Naughty Dog game, a game production, a uh, game producing company. Um, I think uh, I probably should do that after. So, you gotta be quiet again. So much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm hmm And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just... disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's... gonna be pissed. He's... gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me. Well then, feeling good, Drake. Chloe is kind of a babe. For all who haven't played these games, I bet you're all like, "Where's Elena? What happened to good old Elena?" You'll figure out later on. I trust you. Nothing's bad happened to her. Don't worry. She's still a babe, but the other babe. 1.0, babe. 2.0, I guess. Doesn't mean one's better than the other. After, however, it's not what I'm saying. What should I say? What are you gonna drop? All right. I have faith in you, Drake. There's the thing we're going after. All right. Sure you're up for this. I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. 
A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax? <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? <laughs> Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it, all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. All right then. You know where you're going. Don't know your break and entering. I'll probably pause this video at Borneo, which is chapter three. About 40 some odd minutes long. Sorry you guys saw that cut in there. Oh, my my stepfather needed days, something. Yeah. When were Jump! Those again? Crap sake. So my my uncle is in town. He's from Nashville. And for y'all asked, you know, he's not some killer songwriter. Um, he works at a church oh, actually, and then is in the, the night got at a, school, right? a huge, big, really big he school there. Turn so it's. <laughs> kind of cool. Hey, now what do you bet that so. will take us right into the boiler room? So, yep, so him and my sister yeah. are out eating We're lunch, hard dinner, yeah. I guess. In like Flynn, right? What? Ha ha ha ha. In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just well, give me a boost. Uh, this is kind of cool. Cinematic, man. Uh, it looks like a movie. <laughs> my bot. Gee, I'm <laughs> yawning like crazy. Thanks. All right, we gotta climb these little hand hilts. I think it's what you call him. All right. Almost there. You ready? No God, no glory. Here we go. Something like that. <sighs> Lucky they didn't get spotted off the bat, but We're good. I don't think they'd have one of those just in the middle of a room. I think they'd have them like outside. So it's kind of fishy. All right. Jump. All right. Reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay. I love how they do it. And, uh, <laughs> dang it! I love how they um, like he, Flynn radio, like radioed in instead of just saying. Yeah, I'll drop All right. For you. I'm in. Like, dude, seriously? You could have just said it out loud. All right. This is yeah, the way to the courtyard. All right. Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right. All right. There's got to be a shut off valve. Sorry, I'm not going to waste my time. I know what I'm going to do. You can find it then. All right. There we go. That was piss poor. <sighs> that was close. I'm, I'm kind of not doing all too good of a job here. All right. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. We got to drop down. We're almost. We're almost at the corner of the courtyards. Alright. They would have heard those footsteps, but you know what? Let's just pretend. Okay. That there wasn't any. Now there should be a door just around this corner. 
That's our access point. Once we're through, or him. just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. I'm here, aren't I? All right. Yeah, I see the alarm, alarm, but let's just pretend there's That's nothing there. locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Oh, wait, there's an alarm. Oh, that's new since last time. Oh, great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. It's got to be around here somewhere. And it's right here. All right. Oh man, I love this game. It's so good. Even though I think Uncharted 3 is better, Uncharted 2 storylines way better. In my opinion, and many others. So this game got the Game of the Year award in 2009. I got him. Beat Modern Warfare 2, even though. Jake's Fortune came out. Uh, COD 4 beat it. Which means something. Well, alright, let's, let's get to it. Yeah, but we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard, through that gate over there. Well, let's do it. I know how to do this. <clears throat> uh, uh, shut up, dude. You're about to get knocked the freak out. Just get this. Dude. We gotta get up to that balcony. She got bopped. Alright, usually when I climb this gate, he blocks me from continuing on. Like, I'll completely just drop out of nowhere. Gece var diyesinde çalışmaktan nefret ediyorum. Haklısın abi. Git. Bop, bop, bop. Why does mine take three heads and his take one? Takes one. Doesn't seem like very fair. And I'm just standing. Like an idiot. Come on, what are you waiting for? İşler nasıl bu arada? Yeah, last time I played this, like not this time, but the one prior, I went straight with him and jumped down and got immediately spotted. Didn't know. He, he said it so late. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to go with him. Yeah, that definitely would have done something. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, dog. Lift this up. Sneak right under. Whoa, whoa! Not so fast. There's another alarm. Ah, oh, great. You want to get this one? Wait here. Dick. All right. Again, the yellow beams again. Oh yeah, it's right up here. All right. Okay. It's all I should, there's a guard of it up there. Like, you totally wouldn't see any of this. Idiot. One, two, three. All right, go. You got it. Yeah. Hurry. Okay, okay. Go. Right. Hurry up. Easy. Easy. All right. We gotta cross this courtyard to get onto the roof. Okay. I'll just let you do all the ass kicking. All right. Now 
Now we just gotta find a way up to that window. Which window? There's a lot of bloody windows. Now what? It's time to tip oh. the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh, well. Good idea. Great. Okay, a bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? Know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. All right, let's take these guys out. All right. Sorry, guys, I didn't have my mic on for a second there. All right, shoot him. Took you long enough. Seriously? God, I have to do everything, don't I? Really, I would have never have guessed. All right, what are you doing? Quit fingering yourself and get it done. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. There, that'll work. Now All right. Ha ha ha! All right, come on. Will get us onto the roof if we can get up there. Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Uh, all the way to Uncharted 4. Got actually kind of find it funny that he let him do this. Sorry, quick scope. That's kind of funny that he did this, even though that's literally what all Uncharted 4 is about. This rope swinging. Oof. Ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha ha So effing funny. You make me laugh and so hard. Aha ha ha. God. Alright. We're almost there. Alright, there's the tower. Getting closer. Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. Idiot. I sh can tranquilize you. I wish I could. Freaking wuss. Okay. Let's continue on. Oh. Like, how could you not see <laughs> and not look? <laughs> More donuts. But I like eating donuts. <laughs> That's what happens when you you get all the treasures. All right, let's go back to normal Drake. As always. There's a guy above you. There's a guy above you. I like this right here. There's Ready? A guy below you. There's a guy below you. <laughs> Stupid head. Flynn's special. You okay with that? And a nice way. Yes, yeah, great said. view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. Jeez, calm down. There's a guard right below you. Never would have guessed. 
definitely good to see him. Like, is that a card? Oh, nope. Never saw him. No dip. Captain Obvious. I don't care enough to press up in the D-pad. That's just gonna look up there. Once upon a time, there was a freaking... I don't care anymore. Alright. Headshot. Shit. We can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell's she doing? Come on, Chloe. Touch yourself. <laughs> That's my girl. No, technically she's my girl. Oops. I didn't shoot you. Alright. Boom. Ha! <laughs> Got him. Okay. We clear. Hurry up then. I don't like that kid's the backpack and I don't. Ladies first. <laughs> Cute. What happened to his back? Oh yeah, well, it is it was the go. sewers. It is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. Statement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? And? see that our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java sounds like they were hit by a tsunami yeah somewhere off the west coast of Borneo oh great that narrows it down a bit uh, look this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground we find that mountain we find the ships yeah good work mate uh, wait wait there's more okay Joe as if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem Bala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you gonna do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. <laughs> You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been playing. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Well, we better run. Zigzags. Damn it, Flynn. Yeah, no, he's a dick. Hey, Captain. Captain, 
I got blah blah blah blah blah blah. Oh, she said, what shot me? I was like, oh, it was just the door, dumb door. Come on. You're being chased and you run like that. I'll be freaking booking it. Uh, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah, blah. I'm not making I'm not being racist or making fun of them. I'm just making oh uh, I am making fun of them. That's their language. I get it's a busy game. Alright. Overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> Boo. Hey, hey, hey. Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, at the grease of... Sorry guys, I keep getting bothered by people. Sheesh. Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you, he's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate. They found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Bazarovich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue. Larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's got to be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. Chloe, you reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <coughs> Okay, 
I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. 